much to talk about today. Oh my God. Good morning. We made it. Focus, focus. We are focusing on you. Wow. I love this topic so much. So much. This is meditation. This is Qigong. This is self-growth. This is what it's all about. What are you focusing on? What are you focusing on? What are you disciplined in? It is so easy for distractors, for interrupters to come our way and be like, focus on me, focus on me, focus on me. Not just in our thoughts, but literally people, people come into our lives, not only to get us to focus on them, focus on me, focus on me, but literally what they focus on about you, what they focus on about you is very tempting for you to focus on. Oh girl, look at your hair. Did you even wash it today? No one said that to me, but you know what I'm saying? You know those people that come along and they're like, girl, boy, look at those shoes. Don't you want to get some new shoes? And like, it, this is just metaphorical because those are very materialistic things, but that happens too. They get you to focus on a flaw instead of your beautiful, beautiful heart. And this is a hocus pocus magic trick in so many ways. It not only gets you to shift your focus on something that, who knows, it might be something you want to change and it's not a big deal. But what it does is it knocks you off balance because you're balanced. You're fine not focusing on, you know, your shoes. Like you love the shoes you're wearing. Let's say you love the shoes they're wearing. They just make you feel so good, the shoes that you're wearing. And then they're like, what's wrong with those shoes? Look at my shoes. They're like trendy. And then you're like, not only if they are succeeding in shifting your focus and putting you off balance so that you're focused on your shoes, what you're not doing is focusing on something that feels good to you. You're focusing on something that causes insecurity, that causes self-doubt, that causes the feeling I'm not enough, that causes the feeling I, I need to be better. That causes the feeling, the thought, I'm not good enough for this person. That causes the feeling, the thought, I want to die. I don't know. Like it could just cause all these different feelings in you. And so much of it is mysterious. And that's why it's so important that the people that you choose to be around you and that you choose to let in, that their focus suits you because their focus is a hocus pocus. What they get you to focus on is a hocus pocus, but also what they focus on. You hang out with the dogs, you wake up with the fleas. So if they're always talking about sex and you're someone who likes to focus on other things, for example, it could bring your energy down. It could just bring your vibration down. You know, but you can always say, I don't want to talk about this. You know, if they're always talking about What's wrong with me? There's something wrong with me. Oh, I just want to die. Like if you're around people who are saying those things all the time, they are shifting your focus to that, which might even be a lie. They might even be manipulating you and deep inside they don't want to die, but they're getting you to think about that. I mean, there's people that I've hung out with after being in such a good mood And I literally, I'm just like so depressed afterwards. And you have to notice that it's not you. It is you because you're choosing to focus on something. But so many of these little interrupters are invisible and seductive. And they get you to focus on something that is harmful to you, is harmful to your balance, gets you off balance, takes away your beautiful magic, whatever that is, you know, just your magical magnetic nature. I want you to focus on that. You being so magnetic, so majestic, so magical in your way. You know, 
A lot of people need validation. Hi, Jeffrey. Good morning. You know, but you don't have to address everyone else's needs. If that takes away something sparkly and magical about you and you don't have to explain why or how it does that, you just know it does. You just feel less sparkly around that person, around that knock, knock, knock. Hello, come in. You know, I want your attention. I want this from you, you know, and they come across very innocent, but what happens is they are not just taking your attention. They're taking your focus and you might be focusing on something gross subconsciously unaware something that they did wrong and they're trying to hide and they're trying to hide through your sparkle. Like, hello, I need some of your sparkle to cover up my duty. And they don't say that, but like, that's what's happening on a subconscious level. And you feel it energetically. Everything is energy, right? So you end up giving your sparkle away. And let me tell you, you feel that. You feel less magical. You feel less magnetic. You feel less powerful. And nobody has a right to take that away from you. You're not like a free candy store giving out energy to everyone. They can make their own energy. They have their own connection with God. They have their own contracts, their own agreements that they're dealing with. Do you, sister, do you, brother, you don't have to, yes, look out for your brothers and sisters, but you don't have to give them your sparkle. That's actually hurting them. That is actually hurting them to give away your sparkle, to not have boundaries, to just be a people pleaser. It's hurting you and it's hurting them. And your words are powerful, right? That's why they call it spelling. So one of the ways to fortify yourself is if someone's like, girl, why are you wearing a ripped t-shirt? Is use your words, because I want to defend yourself. You know, a lot of us are scared to use our voices to defend ourselves. And so we'll be like, oh, you're right, I'm such a dirt bag. And that hurts us in the long run to like tell other people they're right, to focus on something that is a flaw, you know? I mean, it, it depends on the level, right? We can joke with our friends when we know we're loved and we love each other. But if it brings out your insecurities and you start to focus on something that feels insecure, I want you to instead tell yourself you deserve to feel safe, you deserve to feel loved, and go there. Go to a safe place where you feel loved or what is going to be created in your own atmosphere is your own insecure feelings, which is an unsafe deed towards yourself, which is violence towards yourself. When you're telling yourself, when you're nitpicking on yourself constantly and being like, I messed up. I am not good enough. You are creating danger zone in your own house. It's like not cleaning up after yourself not cleaning up after the thoughts. You have to clean up after those dangerous thoughts and be like, no, no, don't think that. And that's why it's so amazing to hang out with people that are inspiring to you. You can find those people. Some people say, I don't have any friends. Everyone I'm with, they just take from me. They're not really my friends. You have them. You're just not choosing to be around them. You're choosing destructive behavior. The destructive behavior is choosing to be around people who get you to focus on something that feels yucky to you. You know? It's like being teased in a very small level, like someone pulling your hair. Ow! They get you to focus on a pain that, a pain potential. People get you to focus on pain potentials. They get you to focus on fear potentials instead of the moment. And what is? Let's get into the moment. I have my box of ASEA water. I'm going to get you to focus on that for a minute because I think it is amazing stuff. And if you want to improve your health in any way, besides doing Qigong, which is the number one, number one free way to improve your health. I'm going to show you this water and there's a link in the description of the video for the SEA gel and you can find the water in the same link. 
I don't even make money off of it if you just buy it from the link, unless you get like more than $100 worth. There's like a minimum. So it's not even about the money to me. I just want you to have a tool in your life that can help you be healthier you. So I'm going to show you what it is. I'm going to open this box. I'm telling you, this is the stuff, and you got to give it a chance, you know? This is only one week's worth. So if you're going to give it a chance, I would try it for two weeks, get two bottles. Heck, try it for a month, get four bottles. That's what I recommend. And uh, let me know what happens, what you were struggling with before and after. I believe it helps with everything, and I can put you in touch with, like, one of the guys who started the company or is a big part of the company, and he can explain more of why it works. But it's basically a super antioxidant. I haven't taken it for a couple of days, so this is like a double shot. Mm. Tastes like the ocean. It's like the power of the ocean. All right, let's connect with our energy. Literally, the Qigong power focus to create magic in your life. The power of truth. It is so beautiful, this energy. And so if you saw the preview video or the video I posted, the short in the comments, you know, don't focus on the amount of views it has. It has like two views on YouTube, but like 500 on Instagram and Facebook. I'm banned from TikTok. Who knows how much it would have there? Probably nothing. But that's that's the thing you can't focus on the validation of you're getting that you're getting. If you know you're funny, just keep, you know, if you like what you're doing, keep putting it out there. So anyway, it's a funny video about how us women in particular, I know guys do it too, you know, we can look in the mirror and we're focusing on like, oh, I look so good. You know, like this is like a really good angle. But then you turn to the side and you're like, oh, I can see my belly. Or then you look down at the camera and like everything sags down and looks wrinkly. And it's like, that is so beautifully metaphorical of also our psychology. It's like if we look at ourselves through this beautiful Qigong energy, we just feel that love bubbling up and rising in us and it feels so good. If we try to see us through someone else's eyes who focuses on stuff like our flaws or they don't even see us, then we're going to see all these wrinkle vibrations and we're not going to feel crystal clean and magical, crystal clear. So notice your breath, notice your heartbeats. Notice your alignment. Notice your connection with your own belly button and divinity, your strengths. But a lot of us introverts have a hard time hanging out with other people because of this whole we focus on what they're focusing on instead of what we're focusing on. And sometimes we imagine what they're focusing on and that is uncomfortable as well. So what if you strengthened your focus on your energy and really knowing what that is and really knowing your beauty, and really knowing your power 
and really knowing your talent and not needing other people's approval for that, not needing whatever it is in exchange for your balance, like knowing that your balance is the most important thing and you staying stable with your thoughts and not being bullied and not being seduced. And it's hard because the thing is, is we're all works in progress and we don't know everything and we like to learn things from other people, but we do have an inner knowing and we have to trust that on this journey and just try to be kind to people on the way. Even if we have this inner knowing, like, this is just crazy. Notice your breath, notice your heartbeats. Ask yourself, what do you want to focus on in class today? Your focus is your hocus pocus. What is your intention? Now, before I uh, read other people's intentions, You may have noticed that in my tip link, there is an emoji that is not available to you, which is a little grasshopper from our Scribble Soup adventures. If you would like this emoji to be available to you, then you can become a member. I just started membership on my channel and all members get to use Aviva Sings Out emojis. It's a little tiny benefit, I know, like a little tiny grasshopper, but it's fun. And then there's also some videos that I upload, like with Patreon, that are just member only. <clears throat> and once I get members, then I will do monthly lives for just the members. So thank you for considering that. So let's focus on our intentions. What is your intention today? My name is Aviva, and my intention is to be here for all of you today and to focus on what I am giving in every moment and being present instead of focusing on, oh, I can't believe I wasn't here at 1130. I'm such a slacker. And to really share as many exercises as I can to encourage you to focus on the good things for you, the good things in life, how your dreams are coming true, how you're creating good things for the world. <clears throat> and to focus on knowing that you don't have to do anything that feels uncomfortable, including talking to people that want to talk to you if you don't want to talk to them. Jabri's intention is to be here with you on this relaxing day, and he'd like to focus on his arms and his wrist and his feet today. We can do that. Any other intentions? I'm gonna put another short link here that um, is not being shared by uh, YouTube. You could tell that YouTube isn't sharing these sh shorts at all because um, it tells me what's been on the shorts feed and it hasn't. That's okay. Thanks for the thumbs up. Now check that out. See, I started with three thumbs up, and now I have two. I'm sorry. We're, I shouldn't even focus on that. 
but I want to show you that there's other powers at be that are getting less people to focus on my content by suppressing the channel. So if you like my content and you want other people to focus on it, then I definitely need your help sharing it because the powers at beat are not going to do that. So thanks for being here. Thanks for being a Patreon. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for being here, just being here, liking this video, sharing this video, subscribing. It means so much to me and it helps you and others focus on what I have to offer vibrationally. Any other intentions? Hmm. All right, we're going to get started. If you want to share an intention during class, you are more than welcome to. Let's breathe in our intentions. Is anything in the way? Breathe in your intentions. Release resistance. Breathe in your intentions. Release resistance. Release resistance. We're gonna talk about eye exercises, facial muscles, just insecurities and how to release that. And we are also gonna do the Wuji Gong today. Also, I want you to be aware that music has the power to shift your focus and focus on vibrations that either lift you up or flop you down. If it makes you dance, if it makes your heart sing, that is a really good thing to focus on. That is some really good music to get into your bodies. Thanks for sharing, Jeffrey. So I'm going to play some Flying Penguin lullabies so we can shift our focus into more internal stuff, more relaxing stuff. I think it's healing music. And... Uh, I'm going to share these other emojis. I wonder if you can use those emojis on other videos. So that's George Washington Carver healing. Kimurji healing, bringing it back to the world. That's the first one. Then it's the clutter bug. So if you want to declutter your life. Can use that emoji and then the grasshopper bringing luck to our lives. Oh, I got three likes again. Yay. All right. So we are going to start with a really fun mudra. You all, if you've been coming for a while, you know this one. This is to help us open our third eyes with our eating watercress every day and also. Gently getting our fingers to touch together. And this helps us open up our brains, open up our minds, open up our eyes. But what we're going to add to it today is bringing it back and forth, which actually helps to prevent strokes. That's how powerful it is. So we're going to hold this for two more minutes, and then we're going to do the stroke prevention movement. Relax your spine, relax your shoulders. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jabri. One more minute, holding this mudra, relaxing your shoulders. It's hard to cut people out of our lives or to like feel like we need to not talk to them, but if, if they're really shifting your focus and you don't know how to protect yourself and, and you just feel bad after you talk to them, it can be a really great service to yourself to take a break. Just a break. And notice next time you talk to them what you're thinking and what they say that causes you to think differently about yourself and your accomplishments and how you feel differently when you are around different people. Because it shifts your focus, which becomes their focus focus, which is bogus. All right, so now the exercise is tapping. And it's not easy. It's like, ah, how do I get all the fingers to touch? Take your time. And it helps to kind of bend the fingers a little bit. But then bend it less and less and see if you can still do it. So just getting all of our fingers to touch together. This is a very young exercise. Allow yourself to grunt if you want. Allow yourself to grunt if you want. Allow yourself to grunt if you want. You don't have to confront what it is you grunt about, but allow yourself to grunt if you want. Oh. Feels good. Release that gunk. <laughs> All right, we've been doing this for about a minute. Let's do one more minute. Yeah. Finger clap. The silent clap. That helps your heart. We're going to do a very yin one after this to balance it out. Speaking of focus, when you think about what you're grateful for in life, oh my God, that's such a beautiful shift of focus. All right, so this exercise, we're going to bring our arms out and then slowly bring them together into the ground. Do this five more times. All right, five more minutes of sitting exercises and we're gonna stand and do our Wuji Gong. And we're about to have a ad midstream here. Gently touch where the clavicle, where there's like a dip. Like if you go along it, you'll find a little dip right here. And then gently turn your head and you'll feel this muscle stretch as you do that. Just be real gentle with it and breathe out. Breathe in. This is a facelift, my friends. This actually tones your face muscles. See, I'm turning back. I'm becoming prettier. Oh. 
do another one for good luck. <sighs> Sorry about that. Other side. <laughs> I lived it. See, there's benefits to finding your dips. They stretch you. All right, eye exercises, speaking of focus, looking up and down. This actually is also good for your neck muscles. Another fun fact, if you don't do anything in your bed except sleep, you know, like if you don't bring your work there, your computer there, your phone there, you probably will sleep better because that space is now focused for rest. You can create spaces for what you're focusing on. And that focus is your focus focus. Okay, right to left. Let go of guilt, let go of shame. I think a lot of people pleasing is about like catering to other people's shame and guilt because you're not facing your own and you're just not letting it go. Just let it go. That's something that I feel comfortable saying, let it go. I don't feel comfortable saying like, oh, just let your anger go. Because sometimes you got to feel your anger to let the shame go. It's like a bunch of gunk, greasy stuff sticking together. It's like the anger is like the orange oil to get the gunk of the shame off of you. That was a good one. Your anger is like orange oil getting gunky shame off of you by expressing it after I drop down. Stretch the jaws. And the nostrils. Good. It's tap. So obviously doing the tiger helps with focus too. Another side. Brush. Cheers. We're standing now. I'm not going to focus on the pistachio shells that I just noticed on the floor that I guess I missed. I dropped them. Because I got a big old bag of pistachio nuts that were on sale at Lidl. That's so cute how some people call it Lidl. All right, let's breathe. Mm. 
stretch. Oh, that yummy yawn. I love when that happens, right? Mm. Stretch the arms. Kick the legs and hit the thighs. Good job. I feel like I'm being patted down at the airport. Because I accidentally hit my you know what. I hate when they do that. Ugh. Good job. We're gonna do squats after the Wujigang. We'll have time. Literally, the Wujigang sometimes only takes like five, ten minutes, depending how fast you do it. We 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 take about twenty minutes, especially including the five minutes of Wuji at the end. Bring your yin hand under your belly button. Right for women, left for men. Yang on top of the belly button. Think feet are shoulder width apart. Relax the shoulders. Bend the knees. Press in and shake. So you're shaking the belly and also the shoulders are slightly going up and down at the same like rate, rhythm of your knees. So they're going up and down at the same time. Shake, shake, shake. We're going to separate the yin and yang hands, but before we do, we're going to add a shake. We're going to hold our elbows and wag the tail. This is really great for the lower chakras. Shake, shake, shake. As belly dancers know, shimmying is so good for you. Wag that tail. Wag that down. Wag down, wag down. Relax your feet, otherwise you'll hurt your knees. All right, separate. Yin hand faces up, yang faces down, and shake, shake, shake. This feels so cool, having a bracelet circle around and shake out the hands. Shake, shake, shake from the stillness. Relax the shoulders, bend the knees. Focus. It's all about focus. Relax the left shoulder down, release back and forth. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Mr. Mustachio. And the right. And then both shoulders at the same time. So I'm playing the Flying Penguin Lullabies, which is like this, um, I do lullaby versions of my songs and I have this technique where I, how to write them and I have that, like a how to do lullaby videos with all the different sounds on my Korg. So yeah, I definitely use marimba on my Korg and I also use like a xylophone sound and I just use like airy spacey sounds for all the lullabies and so I talk about that in a video so you can do it too if you have a Korg Trinity or something else with these cool sounds and I have this like rule where I only do like five sounds per lullaby and then that helps me get it done because I like not having limitations and my creativity can make projects last way longer than they need to. All right, up. And then let the arms come down, let them float down, bending the knees. So I have some lullaby songs that I haven't even released the original songs yet. But I have the lullaby version, like Let Be. And I don't want to fight, which is this one. It's gonna, those are both going to be on the next album, Key of You. Thanks for the thumbs up, you rock. This is the best move in the Woji Gong. If I only have time to do one move, this is the one I do. It just feels so good. Relax the knees, bend them as you come down. Breathe. We are going to come up halfway and then we're going to reverse directions and I'm going to step away from the EMF and then go around and around like that. So I'll be back in a moment. You're doing that nine times. This is two. This wild bobcat wants to say hi to everyone. I see you, baby. Wanna come say hi? the cutest little hop towards me. Can you come say hi?
All right, bring the in hand over the head, right forearm and left arm in, yang on top of that, fingers spread, bend the knees, feel the light pouring into you, or focus on that. I think one way to protect yourself when you're around people that try to get you to focus on the evil or just something that doesn't feel right to you is to shift their focus. Use your power to shift their focus. It's like a tennis game. It's like a ping pong match where it's like you can hit the ball and they can hit it back or they can try to hit it and miss it because you have hit the ball so hard in a certain direction and they don't know how to grasp it because you have such good focus and strength. That's what it's like. It's like a ping pong tennis match, the mental stuff that goes on with people. So, you know, maybe share in the chat box some things that you're going through with some people and maybe other people can have some ideas of like, okay, well, why don't we do this? Maybe that's something we can do with the members only video that you know other people can't see. So you feel safer and protected. But uh, if you feel you're sh they're trying to shift your focus, then that's like them getting a point in tennis and them winning. And that's why you feel defeated afterwards. So if you feel that, just grab your tennis racket and hit it back somehow. Like for example, if they're like, let's use the silly example I used at the beginning of class. Whereas if they're like, dude, those sneakers have a hole in it, then you can be like, dude, your attitude has a hole in it. You know, just give it back to them. Right, relax the arms down. We're going to go into the next phase, but first we are going to see if Kitty Cat wants to say hi to everyone. Little Bobcat Bangle. You want to say hi to everyone? You know that that's you in there? You can see yourself in the camera. Look at her face. She doesn't look that happy, but she sits like, she, if she wasn't happy, she'd jump down already. She likes being high, and she likes jumping down. All right, arms to the side. I love that girl so much. Left heel up, knees bent, rotate the left knee towards the right. And the other direction. There's just some people that when we're around them, we always feel like we have to prove ourselves to them. And then we decide that we need to prove ourselves to them. Instead of just being like, who cares? You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. I know we want validation, but... Drop that heel down, lift the right heel up, rotate to the left. But if someone doesn't see you, if someone doesn't get you and you keep wanting their approval, it's really toxic. And the other direction. And then like a tree in the wind, we are going to rock back and forth. Again, I'm going to get away from the camera. You don't need to see what I'm doing. You're just putting all your weight on one foot and then the other. I'll be right back. I see you, Kate Cat. 
I might be reaching here a little bit but literally I went over to my kitty cat's plate and like I gave her like pieces of meat and she literally spelled the word love with pieces of meat there's four pieces left I'm gonna take a picture for you before she eats another bite mm. Hold on. baby did you write the word love for me in your plate? Did you? Do you want to get in the picture for everyone? Baby? Look at that. Baby, did you write that? Come here. Look at the beautiful word that you wrote. It says love, doesn't it? Am I reaching? You're amazing. You're amazing. Can I hug you? Can I hug you? All right, so we're rocking back and forth. A few more times. Y'all are not going to believe this. I'm going to post this on Facebook later. Sorry, I just had to take a picture of that. Kitty cat wrote love on her meal plate. You're amazing. Everyone wants to say hi to you. You want to say hi, baby? You want to say hi, baby? Hi, baby. No, I don't want to say hi, mommy. All right, where were we? Did you hear what I said? She literally spelled. She literally spelled love on her plate. And actually, I have a picture of a smiley face she made me with her food like a couple of months ago, and I haven't shared it. But she literally wrote love. I'll share it on somewhere. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have so many things on my to-do list, you guys. I'm almost done with the Clutterbug video. Oh, man. I like drew a trombone. It doesn't exactly look like a trombone. Like I like figured out how to use preview and just draw things. So I did a train and a trombone. It took me a while. All right, come to stillness. 
Well, you're about to. It it blows my mind because I, it's just, it's like she perfectly separated the pieces of meat, so it looks like a string of letters, and you use your imagination, and it, and then it looks like love, but it's a feeling more than what it looks like, you know. I think I'm just gonna um, put it in a video. All right, we're gonna go to the next part of the form, which is alchemizing humanity. It should only take a few minutes, and then we'll do the uh, hand and foot massage. Hand, arms come up. Yeah, little circles to the left. I might stay a few minutes late because I started a few minutes late. Hmm. She's amazing. Oh my god. It's a sign that the next video I need to do is L O V E on Scribble Soup, the next lyric video. And open up in a straddle, bend the knees, reach the left arm all the way up to the ear, and just let it drop like a feather and then hang over so I have to get out of the way. I have room for this, okay? You're gonna go back and forth like that, and then across the body. Shall I take a few minutes? 18 times each. Baby, you're so amazing, I love you. Thank you for writing my mother All right, we're going to do some twists for our livers. Oops. 
Oh, we didn't do the Wuji. We gotta do the Wuji for a few minutes. Where we just feel the energy and just let it move us. Wuji. Penguin says hi. Hmm. Do the moves that where you feel the chi the most. Kind of like being around people where you feel your chi the most. Focus is the focus. Focus. If you feel energy around someone, focus on them because that is adding to your expression in the world instead of adding to your suppression. So sometimes when people try to help us in our lives, they end up suppressing our magic through their need for control. And we don't realize it because they're so generous or they're, we're dependent on them or some, some way, like when we grew up with them or they teach us so much, but we got to unravel the knot so that we feel fully expressed. You know, we might not feel seen by people that are controlling or certain entities that are supposed to be protecting us, like government entities, and they end up throwing us in jail or something, you know? So there's a lot of psychic knots to work through when we haven't been treated with the love and respect that we deserve but you can unravel it and get to a place where you are getting the love and respect that you deserve because you deserve it. One more minute, would you? Just use the force, AKA the focus, move the chi through your body you got this be patient with yourself and others a lot of people don't understand she they think it's all about money but there's more to the world than meets the eyes <laughs> one more minute did I say that a minute ago? Probably. Life is amazing. Amazing how much tension we have in our feet. All right, so before we massage our feet, let's do some twists. We are going to twist to the right, look back at the left leg, straighten that left leg. We're gonna lift the left arm up and the right arm out and back. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Center and twist. Yeah, baby. Back and forth a couple more times. You can do it on your own longer if you like this. And since we're all working out the late night pizza during the winter, let's do some squats. Squat. Squat.
right. Woo. All right. Stretch the hands one finger at a time. Other hand. I miss seagulls. I miss the beach. I want to go to Florida. Eh, eh. All right, long stretch. Lift the, link the thumbs and bend over. Open the legs. Stretch. Arms out, leg out. Ugh. Other leg. Ugh. Get out the anger. Whoa. Any frustration. Yeah. All right, wrist rotation. Move the chi with your wrists, back and forth, front and back, side. You know, dancing is a lot about, and performing is a lot about manipulating that focus from your audience. And so you have to be very, if you're a performer here, which a lot of you are, that is your magic, that your focus is your focus, focus, like putting that energy into your performance and really focusing and not being distracted is so powerful. So when like you're dancing, it's like you feeling it, your feelings are the focus, 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 your feelings. Like when you feel it, other people feel it, right? When you emote, other people feel the emotion. It's like one baby cries in the room and all the babies start crying. It's like if you, where the energy is felt the most is where the focus goes. So if like a whole room is feeling a different focus, it's really hard to get their attention as a performer if you're gonna do a completely different energy. That's magic. Da -na 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 -na. Ow! All right, are our hands feeling better? Let's do a little squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. All right, shake out the hands, shake them out, shake them out, shake them out, shake them out, shake them out. Oh, let's do the liver release real quick. Where we do this back and forth, but we do it with a swing, heels up back and forth. See? Good. Oh yeah, that feels so good. That'll help you sleep. This is good for insomnia. It helps to bring kidney water to your fiery heart and liver, which is often insomnia is your heart and your liver are too hot, too darn hot. You get a little foot massage doing this too. All right, let's rotate the toes a few times in each direction. I don't recommend doing this standing, but I am because, because I am. All right. Ow. Rotate the ankle a few times in each direction. Bring the toes back. Rub the bottom of the penis. Go between the toes. And find a point on your foot. Hold that for 20 seconds. Find another point, hold that for 10 seconds.
Y'all, we are in a very, very, very special time of year. It's not just my birthday time of year. I used to think maybe it felt special because it was my birthday. But in the Chinese um, Qigong calendar, late summer, which is where we are, is the earth element. So there's like five seasons in Chinese medicine. Let's rotate the ankle again. And let's tap the legs up and down. And late summer feels usually just so good, not only because it's like a really good harvest time, historically, but also it is the earth element of the elemental wheel. So when we get to the earth element, which is now for like a month, this next whole month, you might feel the most amazing because you know it's starting to cool down. But late summer, before full fall, is the earth element. So it's grounding. It's it means your stomach and digestion work better. We're gonna find a point under the knee on the inside of the leg. Hold that for uh, twenty seconds. Let's see, Mark says, it could be a fun skit, modern yoga, the desktop or driving or Netflix. It's all just holding low spots. That'd be funny. I could see you doing a character just squatting everywhere. That'd be really funny, Mark. Um, Jabri says, he enjoyed class today. Hope we could do it again on Wednesday. Yes. And by the way, I appreciate all your donations. And uh, I'm not ungrateful, but I do want to say, if I get to $50, I will get another pedicure, but I need $50 to do that. And it could be adding everyone's up. All right, so now on the outside of the knee, um, five fingers above the knee on the outside, you're gonna hold a point for 20 seconds. Mama needs a pedicure. <laughs> Sounds like a cult. Ten more seconds on this point. Cheers to you and your morning beverage. You have a right to be here. You belong here. You're amazing. <laughs> it probably is, man. So many of those places are like slavery. But I found this new organic spa where I got my yellow twinkle toes, which are still holding strong. I gotta do a skit about that. But anyway, cause I wanted to, I, I, I filmed when I was there. I was like, will this organic nail polish last as long as other stuff? And honestly, it's lasted longer than any nail polish I've, any pedicure I've ever gotten. It's just growing out. Thank you, Jabri. All right, rotate each ankle a few times in each direction. That's a good question. I'm gonna have to do a video on that when someone tips me $50 and I go. Or maybe one of you penguin heads will just wanna go with me and we can both get a pedicure together and, that, and you can pay for it. All right, rub in your toes. And the good thing about this organic pedicure place is it's right next to Artist Garden, so we can get a grand slam afterwards. It could be just win, win, win. All right, now find a point on your foot and hold that for 20 seconds. That'd be awesome, Jabri. All right, we're probably gonna go till 105 because we're still doing our other foot massage. Kitty is just chilling on her box elder wood. She is loving that stuff. I gotta finish sanding it when it cools down. So I am telling you the magic of the clutter bug song that I'm editing and I'm almost done and hopefully I'll release it today or tomorrow. It Every time you hear that song, it helps you clean magically. So my place is getting really clean while I'm editing this. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. 
Ooh, I want to go deeper. 10, 9, 8. Woo! Woo! <sighs> All right. Tap up and down. We're going to find that point under the knee on the inside of the leg. Hold that for 20 seconds. That's right. Oh, we got five. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and go to my Starseed channel if you want to see the other videos. I am going to do Clutterbug on this channel, too, because it's just way too good to just put on the children's channel. I'm proud of it. I can't help it. I've been doing animation, like baby animation. I'm a baby animator now. It all is about patience, doing the same thing over and over again. It's a good focus. All right, now above the knee, on the outside of the leg, you're gonna kind of find a spot. And remember, the more you donate to my channel, and no pressure, but give me no money, just kidding. The more you donate, the, the quicker I will get my studio. So the fact that I haven't done my studio shows you how many donations I have not been getting. Hey, I'm still happy to be here. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, if you want to see my legs, you might want to donate. I know, Jeffrey, but I love it. I love working. It's my favorite thing to do. Art. One day I'll get that vacation on the beach. And I was offered it, you know, like people offer me things, but I just, yeah, I can't go until I finish things because I have so many things I'm working on. I can't help it. I got to stay focused. Oh, it feels so good to massage our legs, doesn't it? Our legs need so much love. They carry us around all day long. They are walking, 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 walking. All right. Let's breathe. Good job today. Mom of Hangin's proud of you. Pat yourself on the back, even after you touched your feet. It's okay. What do you think is in blue cheese? Let's get our chest. Uh, see this late summer energy, it's getting to me. You can probably look back every year, late summer, starting August 7th, is when my energy gets peaked. Happy, happy, happy. Sunshine, sunshine, happy. Late summer, happy. Oh. <laughs> All right. Thanking the lineage holders. Appreciate you, you? Thanking all the teachers. Appreciate you, you? Feel your heart's gratitude and compassion and spread the seal to the whole world. That was like Irish mixed with Russian. Love you! What can I say? It's all about love, love, love. I will see you Wednesday, 1.30. Woo!